Hello, and welcome to Nextara's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Force.com workbook. This series covers Chapter 1, Create an App and Database. This video covers Section 2, Access the App from a Mobile Device. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series for more. The app you created in the previous video is already accessible as a mobile app. Most of the things you create in Salesforce are available from a mobile device using a web browser or the Salesforce One app. To enable mobile access, click Setup, then Mobile Administration, then Salesforce One. Click the checkbox next to Enable the Salesforce Mobile Browser app, then click Save. This will allow Salesforce to recognize when you're working from a mobile device and redirect you to the mobile browser app. However, using the Salesforce One mobile app is preferable because some features are not available in the browser app. Go ahead and open the Salesforce One app on your mobile device. Enter your username and password and then tap Login to Salesforce. When you're prompted to allow access to your data, tap Allow. On the first screen, you're prompted to create your first post. Go ahead and tap the plus icon. Then tap post and enter some text. Now tap share. Now, let's tap this icon in the upper left-hand corner to open the navigation menu. Then tap Show More. Here you can see the merchandise object we created. Tap it. Let's tap New to add another item. Call it eReader. Then tap Save. This is the record's detail page. You can edit, clone, or delete the record from this page. Swipe left and you'll see the related information page. Swipe right and you'll see the feed page. Now tap the plus icon to open the publisher. These icons represent actions you can perform. Swipe left for more. Let's choose Post. Now enter some text and then tap Share. Here you can see the post you just created. Tap the plus icon again and choose New Task. Type enter a price into the subject field. Now choose today for due date and then tap submit. Now swipe left and tap open activities. Here's the task you just created. So, the mobile app provides the same functionality as the full site. It's just the controls and navigation that are different. In our next video, we'll cover Section 3, Adding Fields to an Object. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+.